if you are new to Visual Studio debugging or you just need a few pointers to become even more efficient, then I got some cool tips for you right here. Now, this is a C Sharp console application, very simple. And I want to start by setting a breakpoint, which is how we're going to begin our debugging here. I'm going to use F9 to toggle a breakpoint, hit it again, and the breakpoint goes away right there. Now I can simply start my app by hitting F5. And that will start execution and it will pause right here at my breakpoint and I can start to hit F10 here to move along to continue execution. And if I mouse over any variables, I can see here the value. And this is a value that I know will change. So I'm gonna pin it out here. So now I have pinned the value of the format variable and I can now continue hitting F10 to continue the execution here. And now I'm gonna do another update to format and you can see that the value is changing. And I can see that right here because I pinned it to the side here, which is really, really nice. Now I wanna go and I wanna see what happens in this contains method if I call that. But how do I set a breakpoint there? Well, let's move the execution back. I can pull up this yellow arrow and put it anywhere I want like all the way back here, for instance, and hit F10 again, and we can see the format updates. And now I want to set a breakpoint right here in the contains method. And this is inside a Lambda expression. So how do I do that? Well, I can use F9 again. So I want to put my cursor at the thing I want to debug here and hit F9. And you can see that the red background only happens there. So I can just, you know, F10 my way through. And now it stops exactly here at the contains method and I can expect F, what is F? You can see it's right here. But what I wanna do is I wanna go down here and see what happens in this particular method. Now I could set a breakpoint here and continue execution or I could simply just right click and say run to cursor or control F10. Now when I do that, everything is executed and it stops right there where I pointed and said run to cursor. So I don't have to set a breakpoint. I can simply just do it this way, which is very, very nice to have that option. So that was that. Just a few tips and tricks to uh, make you more efficient at debugging everyday C Sharp. Thanks for watching.